Hey everyone, welcome to TJ's Kitchen, and I am back at it again with another cake video for you guys. This one is a mini egg basket illusion carrot cake. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. So this recipe and directions will be on my blog, tarajone.com. The things that you will need will be butter, chopped walnuts, shredded carrot, two eggs, vanilla, two tablespoons of flour, more flour, cinnamon, salt, nutmeg, baking soda and baking powder, brown sugar, and white sugar. So the first thing that you're going to do is just add in your two tablespoons of flour into your chopped walnuts and shredded carrot. This is just to make sure that they don't go to the bottom of your batter when you bake it in the oven and that they stay incorporated throughout the cake. Next thing, you're going to put your butter and sugars into your mixer. I'm using my KitchenAid here. And mix it on medium speed for about three minutes. You really want to make sure this gets really nice and incorporated. And then add in your eggs one at a time, making sure that it is fully mixed in well before adding in your second egg. Just mix that again until it's all combined. And then add in your vanilla. I like a lot of vanilla in my cakes, so that's why there's a lot in this. After all your wet ingredients are combined, add in all of your dry ingredients, the flour and flavorings and leaveners and everything, and just mix that on medium speed until everything is nicely combined, and just until it's nicely combined, you don't want to develop the gluten. Then add in your shredded carrots and chopped walnuts, and mix that again. When your batter is done, just spray your 5 inch pan, you can use 8 inch, 6 inch, whatever you have. Spray it with some oil and then place down your parchment paper. And then put in half of your carrot cake batter into this. I made this batter into two 5 inch by 3 cakes, so it's a bit of a taller cake. Then just place that in the oven until it is fully baked. Then let it cool completely. Then what I'm doing is just cutting off the top of the cake so that I get a really nice surface on it. I do this for all my cakes. If you've seen my videos before, then you know what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting off the top at first. And then I'm scoring the cake around just so I get it nice and evenly. I always eyeball this. And then cutting it in half and also doing this to my other cake so that there is four layers of cake in total. Then I am placing on some icing. I am using my cream cheese icing here because cream cheese and carrot cake are like the best together. Then I'm just placing down my first layer of cake and then putting on a generous amount of cream cheese icing. Then I will just be spreading it out until it is flat with my spatula. It's okay if it goes over the edges. And then place on your second layer of cake, make sure that it's centered, and then push it down into the icing. Just to make sure that it sticks. Then place on some more buttercream and then do the same, and repeat the same step, just flattening it out with your spatula. Then I'm just placing on my third layer of cake, putting on some more buttercream and making sure that it is flat. And then finish it with your fourth layer of cake. Making sure that all of your cakes are centered well and then push it down. Now for this layer, I'm just taking my bench scraper and scraping all the sides of the icing around the cake. I'm just going to be applying the crumb coat now, which is just a thin layer of icing to make sure that no crumbs get onto the outside of your final layer of cake. 
So just put a thin layer all around the cake and then scrape back as much as you can with your bench scraper. You don't want to have it too thick or else it will take too long to cool in the fridge. And then once your crumb coat is really smooth and everything, just pop it into the fridge for about 20 minutes or in the freezer for about 5 to 10. You want to make sure that it is hard to the touch. I'm not going to be doing a final layer here. What I'm doing is the basket weave cake. So what I'm doing is putting my icing into a piping bag and piping a line down the center of the cake, make sure that it's straight. Then pipe a small horizontal line making it two times the width of the vertical line. Then leave a little space under the vertical line the size of your piping tip. I just eyeball this here, but you could also take it a ruler and do this. It's a lot easier for me to just show you this rather than me talk about it. So I'm not going to speed up this process here just so you can see what's happening. And I'm just going all the way down the cake making sure to leave a space in between each row. Then when you're done each row, you're going to go down the cake again, making sure to leave a space in between the two lines. And then pipe a little bit of icing in between that blank space right there. Again, it's a lot easier to see it rather than to me explain it. Now I'm just going to speed this up so you can see it really quickly and it not taking all day for you to watch it. And then when you're done the cake, just do a last little thing to hide any of that little naked cake in the end. Just put a line down of icing in that area. Now for the illusion part, you are going to stick a wooden dowel into the middle of your cake. You can trim it off if you'd like to. The best way to stick the mini eggs on the cake I find is to actually coat the stick in a little bit of white chocolate and just sort of tower your mini eggs on top of each other. So I just dipped the mini egg into the chocolate first and then placed it on top of the mini egg at the bottom. Definitely start from the bottom to the top. I don't think it'll work going from the top to the bottom because it needs something to support it underneath. So just do that going up your entire cake and make sure to, to switch up the colors so that two blues aren't beside each other or two pinks and that you get a whole bunch of different colors everywhere. And then just check to see how tall you want it to make sure that the mini egg wrapper sits nicely on it. And you can see I just put it on like that to make it look like it's pouring out mini eggs. Then for the top of it, what I did was I just put on some more cream cheese icing and then spread it out with my knife so that you get a layer of icing on the top. It doesn't have to be super neat because what you will be doing next is just placing on your mini eggs all around the cake. It doesn't have to be super neat or anything. Same rule though. I like to change up my colors so that there's not too many blues in an area, too many pinks, stuff like that. And just do that until your cake looks completely full with mini eggs. And I saw that there was a little bit of cake showing through so what I did was I put some icing in my bag with a circle tip and just made some little pearls along the cake. So I just pipe some and then move it along. And that is how you make this mini egg basket weave illusion cake. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to TJ's Kitchen. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.